<laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be explaining about the VGT solenoid switch and there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, right now I have it wired up to a, a toggle switch down at the uh, dashboard. I'll look at the dashboard, it looks bad. That will be all be solved once the swap is uh, going to be ready. But I'm going to show the other way that I'm going to do it. So let's pop the hood and uh, show you. Alright, so we got a OEM. Even though this is not OEM, but I just got it off on eBay. I just got a cheap little pigtail. But any 6.0 pigtail. And I think this is a Duramax too, so they're both the same. Um, then put that back in there. The VGT solenoid. Clipped it. So we uh, ran wires here, all on that side, and uh, the negative of this that VGT wire goes into here, connecting to the ground on this fuse box. Oh, uh, this. Uh, sorry, let me take that back. I lied. This thing is supposed to be red, but. Let's ignore that. This is the power wire that goes straight to the fuse box. Then there's another wire from this ground source right here. And that goes straight to the switch inside. It goes straight to this switch right here. This switch actuates the VGT uh, veins on the turbo. And you just click it. Or you 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 uh you click it on when you first start moving, so that's up, and then when you're in mid driving, I'd say like maybe 10 miles an hour, you just click it off, and then you'll be good. But when I do the sw engine swap to the different body, so I'm gonna have this engine in a different body, um, because the body I have is a 1970, so the other mechanical way of doing this is also I think on some of the uh, um, Cummins they had a throttle position sensor I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure on the newer ones again correct me if I'm wrong but you can put a rheostat uh, I don't know what you call it a servo right here with an allen because this is an allen bolt right here or allen shaft put an allen uh, key or Hallen hex on that rheostat. You can make a bracket that bolts to these three bolts, or how you ever want to make the bracket. Then it would just be that. So whenever you control the throttle, it tells what voltage to go into the the rheostat. Then that will send the signal to straight to the turbo, basically. So you just have a power coming into the rheostat it's literally just a servo that's all it is um, but yeah that'll come in there and then there's another wire coming out to that pigtail and then there's a negative going back to the fuse box it's super simple it's what the only this thing how much you're given a throttle controls the VGT on the turbo so when I do the swap I'll make another video on how to do the wiring and and all that jazz so uh i mean that's pretty much it there's the turbo there's you know there's the whole motor right there good old 60 turbo garrett three and a half inch down pipe to a nice polished stainless steel exhaust pipe and it's not going to end there it's going to go keep going all in the back to an axle dump this is just temporary fixture for now but it looks good it looks good
that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you got any comments or concerns, just just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to, my best to answer them. Um, so just make sure you subscribe, comment, like, so you don't miss the uploads that I make. Uh, while doing the engine swap, the frame swap on the 1970 D200 uh, swept line, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's it. See ya.